Hi, in this video, we will learn about polymorphism. Polymorphism is a concept of object-oriented programming in Java. So first of all, what is polymorphism? Now polymorphism is derived from the Greek words such as poly means many and morph means forms. So we can define polymorphism in Java as one name but many forms. Now there are basically two types of polymorphism in Java. The first one is known as the runtime polymorphism and the second one is known as the compile time polymorphism. Now the example of the runtime polymorphism is the method overriding. And in case of compile time polymorphism, we have the example of method overloading and constructor overloading. Let us now first check out what is method overriding in Java, which is again a new concept. So inside the IntelliJ IDE, in our previous topic, we learnt about what is inheritance in Java. We created the parent class of animal and also we created the child class of dog and cat. Now, within our main method, we wrote some code. If we run the code right now, we were getting some output. Such as woo woo animal is running, meow meow animal is running and again animal is running. Now in case of dog, we were getting animal is running. And also in case of cat, we were getting animal is running again. But instead of animal is running, I want to print dog is running. And also in case of cat, I want to print cat is running. So here comes the method overriding into picture. And the concept of method overriding can only be implemented in case there is inheritance involved. So here this is our parent class of animal that contains the run method that prints out animal is running. And here we have the dog class which is the child class. Now at the bottom just for the sake of simplicity let us remove the cat class. And now within our class of dog let us remove all the code. Let us keep it blank and here as well within the class of animal let us remove string name. And now within our main method let us remove all the code. Now if you create the class of dog equal to new dog then with the help of dog reference variable you can simply access the run method. Now if you run the code right now you will get animal is running just because when this statement is executed dog.run then in the runtime, the Java virtual machine looks for the run method within the class of dog. Now within the class of dog, the run method is not present. So it will simply look for the run method within the animal class. So inside the class of animal, here we have the public void of run. So as soon as this statement is executed, this method will be triggered and this statement will be executed. Animal is running. Now my objective is to print out dog is running because we are using the dog object right dog.run we are not using animal.run. So for that purpose we need to use the concept of method overriding. Now in case of method overriding what do we need to do is here suppose within the super class or the parent class we have public void run. So you need to copy it and paste the same code within the class of dog which is the child class. And now here I will use the print statement s out dog is running. Now when this statement will be executed dog.run so the java virtual machine will give more priority to this run method. Now since we have the run method here so it is not going to look for the run method within the parent class of animal. So in the runtime, this method of run will be ignored right. Let us now run the code. So here we go, we get dog is running. So this is the concept of method overriding in Java. Whatever method that you have within the class animal which is the parent class, you can define the exactly same method within the child class. So remember here we have public then public, void then void and also the same method name and here as well right. The only difference can be within this method you can simply change your code. Now let us take our discussion a step ahead. What if when this statement is executed, I want to print dog is running along with animal is running. So for that purpose, within the run method here, we need to use the super keyword super dot run. So this super simply points to this super class of animal. So 
Super dot run means that call the run method within the class of animal. So within the class of animal, we have this method present here. So when this statement will be executed, it will simply call this method animal is running, right? So let us now run the code. And there we go. Here we get animal is running and also dog is running, right? Both the statements are getting printed. Now what if I want to print dog is running first and then animal is running. So for that purpose again, you need to cut the super dot run code from here and paste it just below this line of dog is running. So first this time dog is running will be printed along with then animal is running, right? Which is present here. Let us now run the code. So there we go dog is running followed by animal is running. So this was all about the runtime polymorphism. Are you ready for the quiz now? Here is the question for you. Why do we call method overriding as runtime polymorphism and not playtime polymorphism? Answer in the comment section below. One lucky winner would receive an exciting Internshala Trainings merchandise. Hope you enjoyed learning about polymorphism. This video is a part of Internshala Trainings core Java training program. And to learn the basic concepts of Java and object-oriented programming, visit the link in the description. To learn exciting new concepts and skills on the go, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay tuned.